from transvoicelessons.com and in this video I want to demonstrate the differences between resonance and pitch. One of the most difficult aspects of altering the voice is learning to separate your resonance from your pitch. When you finally manage to detangle these two crucial elements, a vast world of sound will be rewarded to you. Alright, the way I like to think about this is with a simple x and y graph, okay? So on this graph, the y-axis represents pitch from high to low. And the x-axis will represent resonance from dark to bright, okay? So sit back, get comfortable, and I'm going to show your ear the difference between resonance and pitch once and for all. Wherever I drag the indicator, that's the sound I'll do my best to make. Alright, yeah, so I'm going to start kind of in the middle of the female average here, and I'm just going to slowly start to bring the pitch down a little bit on that But So now I'm in the kind of bottom part of the female average here, um, and then I'm actually just going to go, I'm actually just going to go all the way up into the very extreme corner of the female voice. Now, um, I'm actually brighter and higher than a lot of female voices, and what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take this, I'm going to keep the resonance the exact same, and I'm just going to slowly start to bring the pitch down over time, but I'm going to keep the resonance the exact same, okay? And now I'm all the way down here with like a lower pitch but I have really really bright resonance okay and then I'm just gonna slowly start to bring the pitch back up on that okay and now I'm back up here in the very very brightest of the possible sounds that exist and I'm gonna keep my pitch the exact same but now I'm just gonna slowly start to darken my voice okay but I'm still here pretty high in pitch but I'm just quite dark with my voice okay and now I'm just gonna go ahead and start to brighten it back up until I end up back up here okay and then I'm just gonna slowly start to darken the resonance again and now I'm just gonna slowly start to bring the pitch down while I'm also keeping it nice and dark and everything like that and then I end up with something like here okay um and now I'm actually gonna just slowly start to bring this into the very middle of the androgyny zone um for me this is kind of what i i interpret my own voice as androgynous with and now i'm just gonna slowly start to bring it back up into a linear area and feminine and now i am bright and feminine slightly higher and brighter than the female average okay um and now what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna start to lower the pitch a bit right and i'm gonna end up with like a kind of like richer but like brighter like female voice right um okay so now i'm gonna start right in the middle of the female average and then i'm gonna try and do a linear transform to male and back okay so this means i'll move across both axes equally so here i am and then i'm just gonna slowly start to make the voice bigger until I'm here and then I'm slowly just going to start to undo the exact same until I'm like back up here okay um and now I'm gonna go from like a really bright feminine sound all the way to like a really really dark and heavy sound um something to take note of is that if I keep my voice very dark but I just start to go up and pitch like this I actually don't really pass which is a wonderful example of why pitch is not the element that gets you gendered in fact now what I'm gonna do is show how if I'm very very high pitched but very dark and then I just go across the chair all the way on the other end if i'm very very low but i'm very very bright i'll still sound female so what we can obtain from this is that what matters a lot more is the resonance okay and you can see the way that the colors are orientated on this where the purple androgynous zone is it's not equal resonance strongly controls the perception of the voice and the ability to change your resonance mid-speech without actually changing your pitch is an incredibly useful tool a lot more useful than learning to change your pitch without changing your resonance um, yeah, and now I'm actually now I'm actually gonna speak in like an actual like true a kind of true androgynous zone like right here, right? And then I'm just gonna slowly start to bring the pitch up a little bit right there. Okay, and then now we start to get in something that sounds a bit female. And now I'm gonna go back to the actual true androgyny sound right here, right? And then I'm just gonna start of start to bring the pitch down, and then I'll bring the resonance. And then, and, then I'll, and then I'll bring the resonance down here, which will kind of be in the section here. And then I'm just going to start to do a completely linear transformation up into the slightly higher female average over here, okay? Um, and then, like, I'm just going to sort of start to bend the resonance a little bit darker until I'm over here. And then I'm going to go ahead and make it brighter again over here. Um, and, um, yeah, heat from fire. Like, now I'm, like, all the way up here in this, like, super, super, super bright area, right? And then I'm just gonna slowly start to bring it across the chart until I'm back to here. And now I'm actually, like, back into, like, a true androgynous area, which is sort of a neutral pitch zone with, like, not dark, but actually I'm more, like, right here, which is kind of bright. 
Um, okay, so here I am, like a little bit higher than the female average. Um, yeah, now I'm like definitely like in the female average, okay? Um, and then I'm just going to kind of darken this up even more, but I'm going to try and say female, right? Um, and then I'm going to kind of keep going with that, and then I'll end up in kind of like a true androgyny zone where I'm not like that dark or that high. Um, and then I'm going to slowly start to go a little bit a little bit darker with it, right? And then I'm going to just keep broadening up and also moving the pitch down a little bit until I'm like all the way down here, okay? So this is like a very heavy set section here and I'm right here and then I'm just gonna slowly start to bring the pitch and the resonance up on this one until I'm back into like a sort of lower uh, sort of lower female average area right here right now if you're looking for those kind of if you're looking if you're looking for those kind of all right so um now if you're looking so if I start in the middle of the female average if you're looking for those sort of dark rich female voices what you're gonna do is you're gonna ah you're just gonna bring the pitch down right until you're sort of on the outer boundaries of where you would typically see like voices this is sort of a more like kind of butch female kind of sound right my pitch is pretty low but I'm still bright the lower I go in order to stay female I'll need to get brighter and brighter and brighter until like here I'm at the very lowest pitch I can produce but I'm like as bright as I can possibly be right now this section over here is very interesting this is like a really really high pitch voice but it's quite so this is like a really interesting section it's like a high pitch voice um but it's very dark right and i'm actually gonna go even darker and then i'm just gonna slowly start to write in the resonance until i'm actually um yeah actually i'm um, maybe like a little bit more feminine than the female average right and then i'm just gonna slowly start to bring the pitch down over time until i'm back to here right all right, I want you to understand that there are essentially four or five primary sounds you need to get in your ear. You need to get the female average in your ear. Um, you need to get like the male average in your ear. You need to get the dark resonance but a high pitch. And you need to get the bright resonance but a low pitch in your ear. Those four sounds are so crucial and you can troubleshoot a lot about your voice depending on how you compare to those sounds. If you start to change your voice and you f feel like you sound boyish or sort of um, boyish and kind of fake, well, that would probably mean you need your resonance to go brighter and your pitch is fine. If you sound too brassy and buzzy, that might indicate that your pitch needs to go up. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, the big takeaways from this, you should start viewing your voice as a two-dimensional thing. In reality, though, it's like, like an eight-dimensional thing or maybe even more. I don't know. I'm still trying to figure out how many dimensions we could map it to. But you want to learn how to separate your resonance from your pitch, okay? They are entirely different elements. And I hope you can use these recordings to help you hear that and further develop that capability. If you have any questions whatsoever, please leave a comment below. Um, go ahead and check out my Patreon, too, if you have any interest in supporting my work and thank you all so much for everything that you do for me and i can't wait to keep making more videos for you i love you all goodbye take care have a good day Bye.